Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is the first introductory lecture of our channel, a programmer's approach, abbreviated as APA channel. In this introduction, we'll talk about the motivation behind starting this channel. The motivation, the idea for starting this channel, the last point on this slide comes from the above four factors. My personal 15 to 20 years experience in academia with few years in industry. At a level of undergrad student and at a level of postgrad, MS and PhD student and as an instructor both I have good knowledge of the feelings of the student towards the programming and other software engineering issues and the feelings of the teacher and the instructor when they face difficulty in their students, in their trainees to learn the concepts. Broadly speaking, we can categorize the soft computer science students into two categories, software engineers and the software developers. Software engineers, some are good in both categories. Software engineers group, they are good at software processes, methods, applying concepts, doing the documentation, design and architecture, and not very good at software development. The other group, the software development group, they are good at development, but they are not good at documentation, software engineering principles, following the processes, following the methods, doing the documentation and design and architecture. Whereas the both skills are required for one to move up in the software development team to the higher level. The purpose of these slides is to provide you a source of education and training both in a short, case, precise, five to 15 minutes video lecture, which can help you to understand and to memorize things without actually memorizing the things. That is the whole idea. The idea is to make you understand things at a very conceptual low level and then give you a simple program to implement that concept so that you can understand it very well at the language level with the programmer's approach. Okay, move on to the next slide. Who can get benefit and how can one get benefit? from these slides. The slides are in English. The lectures are recorded in two languages. One is English. One is Urdu, my native language. I'm going to record the both. And those who understand the both languages, I would advise them to attend both. It's only five to 15 minutes lecture. You may get some extra information extra insights by attending the board. The level of, the technical level of these slides is not very advanced, not very high. As I said, from my experience, I have seen people at the PhD level, they are very good at concepts, but when coming to the applying the concept on a simple program at the level of implementation, they are unable to do that. So, a programming level approach, but people at the programming level can easily grasp and understand the high level things. So programming is kind of the fundamental, the basics. Without knowing the basics, you can't have a good successful career on top. The duration is going to be kept very small for the ease of memorization. You don't have to make an extra effort to memorize things. It will be easier. Just listening the lecture slide one or two time would be enough and practicing a little bit would be enough. The programming language, for me, one programmer language or the programmer of one language is the programmer of all the languages. 
one has to learn the syntax of the new language for example i am a c++ programmer to switch to java i only need to learn the syntax which is very similar but the changes and the differences of the two languages programming concepts the logic the fundamentals remains the same what is programming these days we are using many devices smart machines which are doing some useful tasks for example uh, microwave oven automatic washing machine wrist watches smart wrist watches mobile phones smartphones it is a combination of two things the hardware and the software if we take the software out the hardware is useless it is not doing the purpose for which it was meant uh, made so the software is the main thing similar to human being when the soul is out the human body is useless so the soul is the actual thing which makes the human work similarly the software is the main thing which makes the hardware work a software is a program and a program is written in a programming language a program is a collection of five things shown on this slide it is a collection of input output internal storage processing and external storage with a very simple example if i ask you to prepare yourself for a mental math question task i'm going you give i'm going to give you two numbers in the first go then an operation then you need to apply the operation on these two numbers then you give me the result back so what i've just asked you to do this four five things this is actually a program okay i give you the numbers 5 and 6 i pause you are keeping these two numbers in your head in your internal storage now you are waiting for the next part of the input i give you the next input addition soon as you get the operation addition you process it to find out the result with these two numbers and give me the output before i give you the next task mental task mental math task you will note it down on a notebook that will be external storage so every program whether small or large large can be depicted by this simple model of five things programming languages there are many programming languages in the market some are more popular than the others some are specific some are general purpose broadly speaking the programming languages can be categorized into three groups the machine language in the form of zero ones as you can see here the assembly language more user friendly developer friendly high level language even more user friendly developer friendly i'm using a laptop with an intel processor that intel processor comes with its own machine language the processor is like a human being on the last slide when i asked you to do mental task similarly the same operation the same task is given to the intel processor the instruction will be given in this form in zero ones every machine understand is only machine code but the problem with this code is this is not developer friendly user friendly it's not easy for us to write a program in this form so what we come up with a high level language which is known as assembly language or more user friendly language which we known uh, which we name as assembly language which can write the program in this form it was okay better than machine language but sooner we realize the programs are getting bigger and bigger more and more complex so what we need a better more user friendly language so we move up and we created high level languages so there is a long list of high level language these days even there are languages which don't even require you or maybe require uh, uh, you only need to add fewer code you only need to write fewer code for example block language online you can write drag and drop the visual constructs you can put that down on a, on a sheet and you make a program and you can run the program without writing too much code so this is our first introductory lecture if you like this 
tell others if you don't like it or if you want further improvements give us feedback let us know until next time take care we'll see you in the next lecture